welcome back to my channel I actually decided to do a video of how I plant or how I pack my plants um, to send it to like a buyer or my friends so I wanted to do this real quick um, there's supposed to be a hurricane here in Hawaii and I didn't even I didn't even get any rain it was just like really strong wind there wasn't even any rain and I couldn't even fill up my pots but yeah let's get started with the, um, the packing video Okay, so here's the materials I typically use. Um, I use bubble wrap at the bottom of a box. And then I use sling wrap. This is the moss. Plant, tape, two kinds, some fluff, and peanuts. I also have all these paper that I saved up from plant meals that I got. Okay, so here's my crinkle eight that I rinsed a little bit a couple hours ago and I'm just gonna dry the excess make sure the roots are dry as well as best as I could the roots are like this because I transferred this from soil um, to Leka a couple months ago and here is my sphagnum moss I soaked this a little bit and also um, squeezed it dry as best as I could and I'm just gonna lightly wrap my roots with the sphagnum moss making sure not it's not too compact and then i'm gonna wrap them with this um, moist paper towel i also squeeze this as best as i could you don't want it soaking wet and then um, put some saran wrap over it okay so i'm just gonna wrap my saran wrap around it um you want to be kind of gentle but at the same time you want to be um also wrapping it a bit tightly so not everything would fall off and you can actually just tape it right here but sometimes if i have extra rubber bands i do put rubber bands in it with the um, plant tag and then i just put it up here making sure everything's secure but like i said you can use tape for this one too but this is how it's gonna look and everything looks snug in there okay so now that the roots are done we're gonna wrap the entire plant I'm gonna use this um, fluff kind of make a little bed for it then I'm gonna put more fluff on top kind of wrapping it around the leaves too and then use my wrapping paper to kind of keep everything in place I will have to say I'm not really good at like folding wrapping paper so it's not the prettiest but as long as it's safe I guess that's all that matters but yeah not the prettiest wrapping during Christmas I always get like a paper bag for my gifts I am I'm bad at wrapping gifts so you can probably tell um, the way I'm taping this but yeah just tape it up to secure it and that's how it's gonna look and then this is the box I'm gonna put it on I put bubble wrap at the bottom you can also put paper and then that's my very pretty um, plant and sometimes if I do have extra cutting of something I do put a little free gift and then I add more peanuts on top and I'm just making sure it's all snug in there Okay, so first I did the rooted one. Now I'm going to do cuttings. Some sellers don't um, wrap the ends of their cuttings typically, but some do. I personally prefer wrapping them just so that they get some sort of moisture and something, you know, just to help them get there safely. But we're going to do the same process. Um, moist paper towel and then wrap it with the saran wrap um, for this one since it's tiny I will use um, tape to secure it and I do have plant tags on them already so I wouldn't need any more yeah I'm just gonna tape to secure that piece but there's the first one and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the second piece of cutting. So I'm just gonna wrap it the same way. I'm 
make sure it's kind of snug in there if ever just tape it because sometimes it falls off but this one i'm really excited because this is going to be shipped to a good friend of mine and she's really excited for this one too so i hope she likes it But yeah, for this one, I'm also going to be doing the same. I'm going to have them on a bed of fluff or cotton. And I can usually have them separate, but I'm going to put them together since they're small. And then I'm just going to put some extra fluff in there. And just make sure to kind of go around the leaves. Just like that. And then gonna wrap that up kind of snug but not you know not crushing it and then we're gonna tape that side this one looks a bit nicer than my first one but yeah we're just gonna tape this part so that it doesn't unravel and then you flip it over so that it looks good there we go <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty snug in there but that's how I do mine and I also found a string in my box so I'm just gonna add this one too to make it look a bit nicer same as the first one I'm gonna have bubble wrap at the bottom of my box and then I'm just gonna add the plant inside and then finally put my peanuts and my letter Alright, but that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. You can always DM me on my Instagram. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you can always follow me at my Instagram, loca underscore four underscore hoya. And if you want to see more videos of me, please subscribe. I'll see you guys till next time. Take care. God bless. Bye.